Monster Hunter Now's new Hunt-a-thon feature is here, and it provides a new and exciting challenge for us hunters. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this new feature. The gathering points you see on the map have the chance to become dimensional rifts called Hunt-a-thons. Here, you can hunt down 5 monsters in a row for more rewards. So, the more gathering points in one area, the more Hunt-a-thons there will be. And you might have noticed that there are some new gathering points on the map, and some gathering points have disappeared. My theory is that Niantic moved some of these gathering points to higher foot traffic areas. Niantic did this to maximize the potential reach of these gathering points. Now these dimensional rifts will be marked on the map 30 minutes before the Huntathon's starting time. And it actually shows the exact time when the Huntathon will start. And one minute before it starts, you will see a timer ticking down indicating when the Huntathon is about to begin. When the timer hits zero, the rift will open and a monster icon will appear. This will indicate what the fifth monster is and its difficulty. The fifth and final monster in Huntathons will always have the hardest difficulty, while the other four monsters will have lower stars. The difficulty of the monsters found in Huntathons will be the same for all hunters regardless of how many times you finish the story. So even if you only unlock 6 star monsters, you will still encounter 8 star Huntathon raids on your map, just like this Radoban raid right here. Now to join a Huntathon, you need to be close to a Huntathon rift. And an important thing to note is, if you moved away from the rift during the hunt, even if you've successfully hunted down the first monster, you won't be able to hunt down the rest of the monster in the Huntathon, and it will end. Tapping on the rift will show the 5 monsters you will face and any nearby hunters you can hunt with. You can start the hunt once all the hunters in the party are ready. You can do it in solos, duos, or trios, and you don't have to be in a party of 4 to participate in Huntathons. But if there so happens to be more than 4 hunters doing the same Huntathon at the same time, then your hunting party may change when going from one monster to the next. Because it's going to be on a first come first serve basis. Whoever loads in first will be part of that party. And if the party is full, you'll be forced to join in another party. So if you're hunting with a group of friends and you want to stay with the same group for the whole Huntathon, then you will need to form a party. Also, if you're not in a party, be careful not to spam the ready button. You may return to the ready screen faster than the other hunters and you might accidentally ready up and start the next hunt all by yourself. You will be forced to face the next monster alone. And if the other hunters in the party manages to finish the same monster faster, they might just start hunting the next monster and you will be left alone to face the rest of the monsters in the Huntathon. So partying up when doing Huntathons will be very important if you don't want to get accidentally left behind. If you fail a hunt, you can always try again. And as far as I know, there's no limit to the number of times you can try. If you do get disconnected, don't worry. You will be able to reconnect to the Huntathon without losing your progress. These Huntathons will be available for 30 minutes, and when the timer is up, the rift will disappear. Another important detail you guys need to know is that when the Huntathon rift is about to expire, as long as you and your friends manage to create a lobby before the timer hits zero, you can still hunt all the monsters in the Huntathon. So when one Huntathon rift expires, another one will start. There will always be a Huntathon in a habitat. But do take note that there will be no Huntathons available past 9:30 p.m. your local time. They'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. In Huntathons, hunts still last for 75 seconds, and after hunting down one monster, you will get rewards like usual. But this time, instead of returning to the map, you will return to the ready screen where you can change your weapon and armor to suit the next monster's elemental weakness. Monsters in Huntathons will be stronger than the ones we face in the wild. They will have 1.7 times more HP than usual. So forming hunting parties will be very helpful. But you can still solo these Huntathons with the right equipment. 
Soloing a grade 6 Huntathon monster is possible with a grade 8 or higher weapon. It will be a challenge, but as a reward for hunting down these tankier monsters, we will get double XP and double zenies as a reward. Sometimes there will also be an extra reward slot for monster materials. And as of recording this video, I don't know what triggers this. Is it only by chance or do you have to do something to the monster? If somebody knows, let us know in the comments. Now the most important thing to take note of is that you can only participate in hunt-a-thons for free once every 3 hours. If you don't want to wait or you want to join in more hunt-a-thons, then you will have to purchase a hunt-a-thon ticket from the shop. It will cost you 150 gems for one ticket and personally I think this is the best investment for our gems, especially for monsters like Xenogre who are exclusive to hunt-a-thons. I suggest saving your gems for Elder Dragons when they do get added to the game, cause for sure they will be Huntathon exclusive monsters like Xenogre. And that's everything you need to know about Huntathons. What do you guys think about this new feature? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like to support the channel and don't forget to subscribe for more Moss Hunter Now content. I'll be putting out a lance guide next and you don't want to miss out on that. But before we end this video, here's some gameplay footage of me hunting Xenogre solo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.